So how many of you guys have ever had an idea that you haven't been able to achieve or pull off? This actually happened to me the other day. I was driving home and I got this amazing idea just out of nowhere for this really hilarious video that I wanted to create and put out for you guys today on Christmas. So when I got home, I jumped on Amazon and I decided I needed two supplies in order for me to achieve this video, okay? And the first thing I needed was a Santa suit. So I bought a Santa suit. The next thing I needed, because I really, I'm not the type of person that really enjoys being filmed in public. So I was like, you know what? If I could have a small camera that could be super discreet, maybe that would be better for me. So I went out and I just bought this tiny little cube camera. They arrived, spent like over $100 on both of these items combined and I was unable to do the video. So the reason I wasn't able to film the video was because I didn't have anybody that could film for me, despite the fact that I bought a camera, another, another camera. So that being said, now that I'm sitting here today on Christmas with a Santa suit, I thought it would be appropriate to put this thing on and answer some of your questions. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your... Man, this thing stinks. Well, it doesn't smell that bad, but there's like little white fuzzies that are everywhere and I feel like they're gonna get all over my keyboard and desk, whatever. Let's do this. So we got questions. I've got 25 questions here from Facebook and Twitter. So let's do it. So this one's from Tillin uh, Suk, who says, why did you start YouTube? The money, dude. Definitely, always it's the money, of course. Is there any other answer? Definitely, definitely the money. This one comes from James Laurie who says, would you eat a turducken if it was offered to you? Turducken. Turducken is a dish consisting of a deboned chicken stuffed into a deboned duck. Oh yeah, I remember those. Heard about those before. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'd love one. Let's do it. Put one on, put one on my Christmas plate. I'll eat that. Nikola Stoyanovsky says, what is the meaning of life? Dude, I'm just, I'm Santa, like, I, I don't, I have no idea. I'm about to turn 29, but that's not a lot. Like, that's not a lot of time to figure out the meaning of life. I would assume, I would assume it has a more philosophical answer, such as, like, love or, I don't know, love, I guess. Matthew McClellan St. Clair says, oddest thing you've caught Remy doing. What has that little bugger done? Um, I don't know about the oddest thing, but one of the most annoying things is he goes outside and eats rabbit turds <laughs> in the backyard. Uh, that's kind of nasty. Oh no, the oddest thing, no, I remember. The oddest, one of the oddest things I've seen him do is one time he was pooping and the, <laughs> the, the, the poop was like, this but then it got separated and there was a little like string in between and I don't know what that string was but it was like hanging out of his butt and as he was running around it was like dangling and hitting him like on the on the on the behind and he was doing a run that looked something like this <laughs> granted that's like a human representation in a Santa costume of a dog so it wasn't exact but I tried Jesse shell says what is the most embarrassing slash awkward moment in your life probably this video Dandy Toshesky says, will you bring back the modded Attack of the Bee team with all the people, Corrales, Generic, Bee, dot, dot, dot. Um, no. So actually I already tried that earlier this year. I created a mod pack called Revenge of the Sea Team and I did a full series on that. And if you want to understand why that stopped and why I won't be doing any more of those in the future, you can watch the finale of that video or series, you know what I mean? Adam Dodge says, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Probably either Chevy Chase's Christmas Vacation Elf or Home Alone. Jacob Mills says, hello, is this the front desk? I'm here to complain about my neighbor. I think he's a neo-Nazi. Hey Patrick, Jacob's on to you, dude. Stop with all that neo-Nazi crap. I took care of it, man. I took care of it for you. No need, to, no need to complain to the front desk. You don't need to call the front desk, okay? Everything's taken care of. We're good. Trusty Tarantula says, what are your best dance moves and can you do them on camera? And I scheduled a checkup with your doctor. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, amidst that dancing sequence, I lost the ball to my hat. So that was money well spent. Perfect. Dude, look at this thing. This thing can stand straight up. Oh. Sorry, my camera angle's so low. I have to like fly like a low flying bird through my office. But look at that thing. It's amazing. There's like fuzz everywhere. <laughs> Ian says, will you ever consider getting another puppy? No, I won't. Not right now. My wife and I both want to have Remy just as our singular dog, probably for his entire life. And then we'll get another one uh, after he passes away. I don't want to think about that, man. That's super depressed. Why did you have to bring that up? But no, seriously, I can't handle another dog right now. I can barely handle him. He's got a lot of energy all the time. And it makes it really hard sometimes to record videos. <laughs> Spicy McNugget says, do you plan to film other games in the future or collab with other YouTubers? Yeah, so I love collabing with people. The problem is one of the things I've run into issue wise over the course of my almost six years here on YouTube is that collabs can be extremely frustrating. People don't show up on time, they're unreliable, and then eventually you get to the point where I'm at where like no other YouTuber reaches out to you or contacts you anymore. And so you just feel like an isolated Santa Claus in a suit and you just, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I has joy says, what made you triggered in your profile picture? I, I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I fucking hate video games. Because this is what it does, it appeals to like the male fantasy. Probably the fact that I spent over a hundred dollars on supplies for a video that I wasn't even able to make. Boy says, why did you stop your Minecraft files? Well boy, let me tell you something here. This hand represents a game called Minecraft, okay? This hand represents a game called Five Years. And what happened is they both went like this, and then I was right here. See that? See how the air? Do this, clap with your hands. And the air hits you in the face. That air is representative of boredom and a really, really, really bad metaphor. But <laughs> no, basically what happened was after five years of playing the game and doing the same thing every season, and having done the same thing over and over and over again, like I already built a treehouse, but I'd done it like three or four times. The game just got really boring to me. It got really boring and I needed to move on because honestly I was playing it and I just wasn't enjoying myself. I wasn't having a lot of fun. I, I, I lost the creativity within that game that I once had because I honestly had put all of my ideas out into like 3000 plus videos. So that's the reason I stopped the Minecraft files and really honestly pretty much just stop playing Minecraft altogether. I get asked this question like all the time and like I really really wish that I could send out like a mass bulletin to everybody and just be like yo look I'm not really playing Minecraft anymore but if you want to stick around awesome because I'm gonna be doing some awesome stuff in the future but I'm pretty much only gonna be doing Minecraft one day a week. Maybe, maybe this was the bulletin. <laughs> maybe that was it. So here go oh, fly away little bulletin. Reach all of 1.8 million subscribers that I have please. Alert them. Let them know that awesome things are upcoming, but I'm only doing Minecraft one day a week. One Dugan One says, what would you suggest for a beginner on YouTube? All right, so for a beginner on YouTube, if you're, if you're looking to make it on YouTube, right, you gotta do a couple things. One important thing is you gotta scream. Screaming is a must, okay? Another thing you should do is go out and get a girlfriend or a boyfriend and exploit them for, for views. If they're a girl, just do a lot of thumbnail shots on this area and just exploit, dude, just exploit her body for views, man. That's all you gotta do. Another thing you should do is like move in with someone else who is a gamer and also has a channel. Just record your life, dude. Just record like everything. Uh, like film them pooping, like just film in the bathroom like while they're brushing their teeth and stuff. Flossing videos are really big right now, so like make sure you hit up your, you know, get that camera, like put it like in their face while they're flossing, that sort of thing. But you gotta live in a gaming house, super important. Dude, dye your hair, definitely dye your hair. Everybody does it, so you gotta dye your hair. That's really important on getting started on YouTube. Like just pick a color that someone else hasn't picked yet and dye it that color. Make sure you cuss a lot. Like people on YouTube love cussing. So just start throwing out expletives left and right like you don't care at all and just start cussing a ton. That'll get you subscribers. Make sure your titles are super clickbaity. Everybody loves a good clickbait. So, you know, when your finger is hovering over that button and you can't decide whether or not you want to click it, if your title is clickbaity enough, they're going to click it, dude. They will click it. Dude, just make up some drama. Like that's the easiest thing on YouTube ever. Just like pick a random guy, to, like talk about his channel and then make up stories about how awful he is. Or you can just review his tweets. Either one, that one works. It doesn't matter. Another thing you could do is literally just insane. Like just completely just have things snap in your brain. That'll help you out to get started on YouTube. 
uh just go like utterly just psycho just go psycho pretty much yeah so that's pretty much it that's like all the tips i have 2d says out of everything you've ever done what is your favorite youtube video that you've created and why i feel like i may have answered this one in a previous q a i can't remember but anyways 2d what's up dude i like 2d he's a good friend of mine favorite youtube video that i've created definitely power glove definitely world war ii power glove hands down all 10 favorite video why uh because it's the video that i put the most passion money and effort into so there you go. Plus I wrote the script and came up with the whole idea and was super proud of it. HM Games says, when was the last time you enjoyed the savory piece of bacon? Uh, it was like two nights ago. My wife and I went to get some fast food cause it was like 1130 and we were starving. She ordered one thing, but they ended up giving her a burger with bacon on it and she didn't end up finishing it. So I finished it and I ate some bacon that was in that burger. So I guess technically that's the last time I've enjoyed a savory piece of bacon. Sans says, do you listen to the voices in your head? Jim. What was that? You wanna play some video games? Come on. No, not not now. I'm recording. No, I, I know. You can record it. It's fine. Let's play. No. Like just later. Later. Okay? Fine. No, I no, I don't listen to him at all. Haroldinho says, How long have you been doing YouTube? It'll be six years this coming February. Kyler says, any advice on how to gain views slash subscribers? Well, considering my view counts are way up and my subscriber counts are totally in the green. I'm definitely the guy to ask here. All right, this next question comes from Noah Huffenbach who says, do you plan on doing another modded Minecraft series down the road? Honestly, no, not really. I mean, I never say never. So, you know, it's never off the table. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm super burned out on Minecraft. It just doesn't really hold my interest much anymore. I've pretty much done everything in the game that I've wanted to do. The updates they put out really aren't all that exciting either. Oh wow, we got llamas, dude. We got llamas, bro. Yes, what do they do, man? Oh, the they drop leather. So that's like the same thing as a cow? Pretty much. Oh, okay, so it's just a retextured cow. Yeah, yeah, they just don't do a whole lot, man. It just, they, they don't seem to update the game in any exciting ways. And I just kind of like lost interest, man. After five years of playing it, like I said, it's just got kind of gotten boring. So no, I, I don't really foresee any modded Minecraft series in the future. But, you know, I never say never. Uh, I just, I don't foresee that happening right now. Dude, there's these white hairs just everywhere. Tad Barna says, tell me why I like pizza. If I had to speculate, I'm sure you probably like pizza because you got like the dough and then above the dough is uh, spaghetti sauce. And who doesn't like spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce? I'm sorry, pizza sauce. It's pizza sauce, right? Hey, is it pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce? It's pizza sauce. Okay, thanks. All right, pizza sauce. And then on top of the pizza sauce, you got pepperoni and like sausage or whatever you want. I don't know, anchovies, pineapple, Apple slices, I don't know, whatever you're into. And then cheese. Everybody loves cheese, my dog included. Mel561 says, do you potato? Yep, I potato. I do it. I potato. Right, guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you guys all have a wonderful christmas if you don't celebrate christmas then have a happy holidays i hope you guys have a wonderful just have a wonderful end of december let's leave it at that coming up on the channel guys there's gonna be more fun things like this i'm gonna be doing a proper update video soon so make sure you guys keep your eyes open for that i am long 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 overdue for giving you guys a proper update video so we'll definitely be doing that in the near future. I feel like I've got a fuzz on my lip because there's fuzz freaking everywhere. I cannot wait to get out of the Santa suit. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.